we got the ground clamp, 25 millimeter work clamp. We have the TIG torch with a few consumables. TIG torch looks like. It's pretty nice. The plasma cutter with some consumables. Here's our arc welding holder, or this electrode holder. Alright, seems like a pretty simple welder. Pretty much got the three settings for TIG stick and cutting. You got your amperage setting with the digital readout, on and off switch, and then your air inlet with the gauge. All of which seems pretty simple. I'm certainly no expert in welding, but seems pretty easy to use. Alright, down here on the bottom we got all the connections for everything. This is what the connectors look like for the stick welder. It seems like it connects pretty solidly, but I'm pretty new at this and I don't know how solid that really is, but it seems to work pretty good. Well, there also came with a handful of electrodes which appear to be corroded and stuck together. I think there's 6013 and then there's two 332nds and two 8 inch rods. And then uh, a couple of tungsten carbide tips for the uh, tube welder. I also picked up one of the auto darkening helmets, welding helmets from Harbor Freight, which is, was 50 bucks without the 20% off. And then also some clamps. I got these ones from Home Depot. I think they were five bucks a piece. And these ones from Harbor Freight, and I think they were like four bucks or something like that. definitely a budget welder. This is the first welder that I have ever bought and to be perfectly honest I have never stick welded or TIG welded before so this will be a learning curve for me and anybody watching that hasn't learned to weld either. Hope you guys enjoy that. It's going to be an interesting learning curve that's for sure but I think I can get through that and hopefully make some cool stuff. This welder I bought it was brand new through Home Depot. I'll have a link that should maybe pop up right here to take you to Home Depot. It was $3.99 brand new and the reason, I main reason I bought it is that it had the plasma cutter as well in it. I know it is a very low, I think it's a 40 amp or 30 amp plasma cutter which is very low but we'll see how it does and if I'm not satisfied with this machine I will be returning it and finding a new one. Probably one that's just stick welding because that's mainly what I want to learn first. For this video I'm not going to test it because that will be the next one and I'm going to be running it on 110 first to see how that does. And thank you guys for watching. If you're watching this, that means you found my new channel and I hope you guys subscribe and thank you very much. You guys have a great day and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing.